Wow, you guys, it has been such a fucking shitstorm recently going on in politics. And, you know, I have been MIA. I have not been on here um, posting videos like I usually am. I've been very busy. Like, I have been very busy. This week, I'm going to be doing a vlog. And I am doing this current video, which is talking about the Groypers are coming for Trump. <laughs> I am declaring a new Groyper war against the Trump campaign until we can figure out what the hell is going on. I'm declaring a new Groyper war. You have alienated us. You have ignored us. You don't listen to our concerns. We have been left behind. The Trump movement and the GOP have moved on without us. It serves Israel and corporations and immigrants, but it doesn't serve Native Americans. What about Native Americans? They're not coming for Trump, they come for the Trump campaign. And I just want to talk about like my perspective and what I hope to happen and what has happened currently as I am fucking speaking. Now be mindful, if I miss miss like miss something or I, and I haven't like said it in this video, um please like be patient with me like i do not have like my um ipad to fucking sit here and go over like the things that i really want to like you know pinpoint what's happening so like bear with me um the fucker is dead <laughs> but anyways the groupers are fucking coming for the trump campaign and i'm so happy because there needs to be a radical changes like it it truly does like the game plan in 2024 election has completely shifted we all thought that like president joe biden that fucker that motherfucker would be the one to um you know be you know the candidate for the democratic party but look what happens they cheat again they cheat again look at that you know initially it was running on the mistakes of joe biden because he has been a fucking like he has been running amok in America and has been destroying America since the very beginning. Now, I'm not going to sit here and act like the, like, you know, I wasn't like, um, indoctrinated. <laughs> I wasn't a leftist in 2019, 2020, and that I did not fucking vote for Joe Biden. I didn't understand what the fuck I was, what I was doing. All I know is I was slowly integrated into right wing politics, but also still feeling like that I was also very left in that the right wing was out to get me okay but now i'm awakened i am i am very much awakened i sure am and i haven't voted um blue ever since i am very sad about what's happened to this country because we already know joe biden has been such a fucking disgusting leech that's fucked up this fucking whole country burned to the ground and he has people in his administration that are wanting, they have the agenda to fuck with this country and to allow illegals into this country to um, fuck up our money. We are so, we, we are so far in debt it is fucking insane. But Trump, he was running on those mistakes, but now is Kamala Harris, Joe Biden's VP. She has fucking became like the star overnight all of a sudden. And you know what? I, I told y'all this before. It wasn't truly all of a sudden, bitch. I truly feel like they are so smart. I think the the left and the way that they market, market things, they are very smart. Kamala Harris, way before she was even announced to be the president for like, I mean, well, the running president um, for the Democratic Party, for weeks, there were memes of Kamala just everywhere. I mean, everywhere. Like the coconut tree meme, the fucking um, bird, unburdened by what has been. Like, what can be and be unburdened by what has been, you know? What can be unburdened by what has been? 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 What we... This shit has been going on for weeks. Way before she was even like, you know, like t and talking about taking over for President Joe Biden. And we already know that, you know, after that fucking mishap 
that from the left, they they can't they they couldn't fucking like you know hold Joe Biden's hand in the debate. They, the drugs was wearing off, bitch. That's that's what happened. And he fucking he he fumbled the bag. <laughs> well, duh, he's been fumbling the bag ever since twenty twenty. And um, you know, like she had to get her ass in there. They had to fucking literally take him out, take him off the fucking drugs, and kick him to the curb. And now he's just somewhere in fucking Delaware on the beach, just chilling. We don't even know if that's actually him. He looks like a deep fake when he does his fucking interviews and shit like that. But Trump, he like he is thrown for a loop. And as y'all already know, I have been watching Nick Fuentes for so long. I've I didn't really like tell you guys that I was. Um, it seems like that more recently I've been I've been like him, but like you know I feel like now more than ever it's more acceptable. Like <laughs> because he's like everyone everyone like hates hates Nick Fuentes. They don't understand him is because they have never like watched him. They never watched him. They go along with what the media says that like he's a neo Nazi, he's a white supremacist. When this motherfucker is literally a Mexican, um, <laughs> and he just loves America so fucking much, you know. And he's native to this country. And he's always been a Trump supporter. He's always been, like, radically conservative. And I love that about him. I love how true he is. I love that he's unique. And that he ha- he's very educated. More educated than I ever will be, I feel like. And on a lot of topics. But one thing that I have agreed with him on, for sure, is, like, illegal immigration is horrible. And now, even legal immigration should not even be permitted because we're full. We're full. We're fucking full, bitch. It's, it, it's done. Like, America, America's full. We're good. We need to rebuild. Let Americans, America, Americans that are native to this country fix this country. Whoever else is in here and whoever is fucking illegal, get the fuck out. It's time. And I truly believe that Nick Fuentes has the best intentions for it, for this country. And he has the best intentions for wanting Trump to wake the fuck up. Because Trump, he is not running as a person like he was before. We already know, like, he was very, he was very radical. He was very, very a pushover, bitch. Like, no one could step in his way. No one was donating to him that was, like, you know, these lobbyist Jewish donors and these fucking scum of the earth motherfuckers who are neocons that want to destroy this country, spend our fucking money, and off the backs of American taxpayers, bitch. Trump isn't the, the same person that he was, like, years prior. He, he was, when he came out, he was a populist. He was someone that, like, every, everyone, left, right, did not like. They was not for him. Even J.D. Vance was not for him in the beginning. Even I wasn't. I was a leftist. I was a, a tranny leftist in the brain. I was. But now I've woken up. And, you know, one person that has always been there it has been Nick Fuentes. But Nick Fuentes, he has very, he's been very critical of Trump. And I also, so, so have I, bitch. So have I. Because now since I've woken up and, I'm, and I've seen what the left has done and what they have to offer and what the right has done and what they have to offer. Bitch, one thing that, that the, the left and right have in common is that Jewish money and that motherfucking Israeli occupation are in our fucking government. Vindicated, I am not going to vote for Trump as of right now. I am an uncommitted voter. I will not vote for this. I will not vote for legal immigration, corporate tax cuts, log cabin Republicans, and support for Israel. That's not what I'm about. I'm not a Republican. The Republicans have done nothing for me. They've done nothing for anyone like me. They've disavowed me. And we all know they're owned by corporations. They don't own my vote. They're not entitled to it. They're, as far as I'm concerned, they're not even better than the Democrats. They're roughly the same. The margin means nothing to me. They're basically the same. I will not vote for Republicans. I will not vote for Donald Trump this time. Not unless it changes radically. And Nick Fuentes is so right about that. And that's why I was one of the first people to come out in defense of Kanye West like when he was coming out and talking about these Jewish um, contracts and um, people that was in the Hollywood industry that was fucking people up and literally fucked him up. And now they're trying to murder him and take him out. There is just so much stuff that I've learned over the over the past, I don't even know, like five years that 
it's it's wild to me that no one sees it. It's wild to me that people think that this is okay um, to have all these fucking illegal immigrants coming into this country. Bitch, we are full. It's not right that we are in these in these wars, like literally giving these motherfuckers weapons, like billions of dollars of taxpayer money. It is done. And the fact that that Trump isn't the same person that he that he was a couple years ago to now is it, it shows he has all these donors that are literally foreign agents. He has J.D. Vance, who is a fucking um, fed. Um, he has like he's going with the okie doke bullshit by Netanyahu talking about like Iran wants to and like want to assassinate him and they're our greatest threat I'm like Ar- Iran's not here in America trying to tell tell um our politicians and, our, and stuff like that to sign hate speech laws to shut us up to not speak about a foreign country or get us arrested or take away our um, Christian beliefs so we can't read the read Bible verses that talk about who killed Jesus Iran's not doing that. Actually, you want to know what happened in, in the from that opening in the Olympics? The Muslims came through. The Iranians came through. Even the Iranian president was the first person to come out and, and defend Christians and say how disgusting it was that they were, um, like, mocking Christ. Yes, they was mocking Christ. I don't give a fuck what you were saying. And those fucking drag queens were up there dancing in front of a child, too. Half naked. You fucking disgusting pieces of shit. And it's so funny how, like, you know, the Iranian president can come out and defend Christians all around the world. But, like, Bibi Netanyahu didn't do that. But you're, you're trying to tell me, you're going to sit here and tell me that you're our greatest ally? No, bitch. No, you're not. You're not allied to me. You're an enemy to me and the people. And Nick Fuentes has been very, very um, critical of Trump about that because, like, wh- why are we being warmongers right now? Why are we saying we want to go to war with Iran? Why are we picking advisors and managers, Susie Wiles and Chris um, Lasavita, whatever the fuck his name is? Why are we having these people, you know, um, making you be very, like, um, diversity, equity, inclusion at the RNC? Um, talking about how illegal immigration is hurt is is only only hurting the immigrants and blacks more than any other person, any other race out there. I'm like, well, this is America. It's hurting all of us. We all go to work. We all have regular jobs. We all we are regular declar people, and we fuck with. We have to deal with these fucking illegals, these people that are lowering our wages, and they're fucking up our economy by literally taking our money and sending it over to. Wherever the fuck they came from, Cuba, Venezuela, wherever the fuck. And it's insane. And, you know, Nick Fuentes have been talking about that. Like, why is Trump all of a sudden now being just like every other G- GOP shrill and um, shill, I meant, and talking about giving greed cards to these people? I don't, like, what? No, like, no. Why? This is America. This is fucking America. Americans need to be in, in in charge and be put in place in these um um very like these jobs that are very important like technology construction all this kind of stuff like that like no no we need to be we need to rebuild this country we need to run this fucking country not illegals no no it, it's just it's it's done it's over when you like why is he fucking these people Susie Wild all these people why are they fucking talking about you know trying to get the attention of Jamal and Hakeem and forgetting about the Karens of the world. Like, that doesn't... That, it, it's so offensive, too, to the white, to white Americans. I feel bad for them because they are the lost people in this country. Like, they're, they're demonized. They're always called racist. They're always called... They called everything in the book. Like, and it's sickening to me, honestly. I think it's sickening. I think white people are very, very nice and, for the most part, like, really cool people. Like, I, I, I kid you not, like... For the most part, white people have been more nice to me than my own people. One thousand percent. Gay. It doesn't even matter if you're gay or black or whatever like that. Like they have always been like very disgusting. Like always. Um, and of course, I'm not saying like I don't like my own kind of people. Period. I do, but I'm just stating the obvious of what I see. And the fact that. 
He's running a campaign being diversity, equity, inclusion, giving shit speeches, not really get, like doing much to like put ads out there to help him out. Not really. Well, now all of a sudden now he's on TikTok and he's like you know doing cool videos stuff like that. But they're not as great as what Kamala's doing in my opinion. Like I think Kamala is you know getting that gen z vote that woman vote that middle-aged one white woman vote that y'all love y'all love to make fun of those white middle-aged women but like y'all not do anything to attract them i just did a video about clown world it's a um a twitter account and blair white reposted something about like about how all these white women are over here you know smell like cat piss because they're all cat ladies and stuff like that making fun of white white americans how is that going to help help you help you guys I've been seeing so many people that are white and that are the majority. White people are the majority of this country, bitch. Wake the fuck up. They fucking turn out, bitch. They turn out the fucking country. That's true. Minorities don't. And the only thing the minorities do, they fucking fuck up the country by voting left all the time. And, and voting for communism and socialism and Marxism. And, you know, making fun of these white people. I see these with these white... Women and men saying, whites for Harris, white women for Harris. They're trying to, they having like these fucking Zoom meetings trying to get white women to fucking vote for Harris and like all kinds of shit like that. And what is Trump doing? Trump not doing that. Trump's not doing that. I think it's so funny too. Like <laughs> they can have whites for Harris, but like if they have whites for Trump, they're white supremacists. It's so funny. But yes, he should fucking appeal to those people. He should appeal to Gen Z more. You know, he shouldn't be so like, you know, he, he should play into like the trendy bullshit that's happening today um he should be brad like trump is brad period like trump is brad he should be brad even though like charlie xcx didn't endorse him whatever like that doesn't fucking matter he is brad he is that i uh, like the 365 party girl period like he is like i live for that like he is rich cool and like everyone wants to be him or everyone wants to be trump but it's crazy how like she's progressing even more because of the mistakes of this campaign but now since the groupers have like literally they rage war rage war i mean look at the fucking screenshots right here of nick fuentes after the elon musk and trump boring as motherfucking space that they did he was putting out all these different types of tweets talking about like mira ellison like fuck her money fuck foreign um uh, al al like alliance to israel no war with iran no more um, illegals and everything. And he's gotten so many tweets and retweets and likes and everyone. like. And I was a part of it. Like, I love watching his his um, rumble. And I was a part of it, retweeting every, every fucking tweet. And just, like, trying to get Trump and his campaign to see that, like, there is something truly wrong here. Like, Kamala is polling very high. Polling very high. Yes, she is. I don't give a fuck what you said. She's polling very high. And we are in trouble. There and there is a radical change that has to happen, and I think that it's happening. But Nick Fuentes out here with the support that he has, even though Milo um, Yiannopoulos has said like, "Oh, like he thinks that he has so much support in this and this and that." Fuck you, Milo. Fuck you, you fucking Jewish cunt. Fuck you. He has a lot of support, and he and he is doing. He's making some moves because why the fuck is oh my god like. There is a former advisor that has been a Trumper, like a always Trumper, has been rehired and has basically said that like he is basically in charge of the campaign now. This is so great. And it's Corey Lewandowski. That's his name. And his name is so fucking hard to say. Like the last, the, his last name is so hard to say. So we're just gonna call him Corey. And I'm very excited. I'm very happy because that's how Trump won in 2016 with, with people that were 1,000% for him, 1,000% for this country, and not, not for um foreign alliance with Israel or any other foreign country. We want to stop all wars. We want, he ran on anti-war. They were anti-war. We want to rebuild this country and make this country great again. That is the whole purpose of the campaign. And I'm so happy. They're now crediting um, Nick Fuentes for his groupers to come out and fucking like show. Bitch, they showed out. Yes, they did. And we are con continuing to show out. You know, I am i don't feel like I'm a part. Like someone asked me, are you a part of groupers? Like I'm not a part of it. 
but a lot of the groupers actually like me and you know what's so funny like y'all like y'all like to call him call him um a white supremacist to call them the groupers like you know neo-nazis and stuff like that but like they're, they're very welcoming to blacks too there's a black that literally is within the grouper movement and he was just on like this um like news station and he was talking about like his um you know his feelings about the trump campaign watch this clip i love trump i love him to death but i'm not a real big fan of his campaign i'm not a real big fan of chris lasavita susie wiles and even jd vance who was a never trumper so it you know it begs the question you know why are we even here you know he's not a white supremacist he loves america he's been around nick fuentes nick fuentes has been around nick kanye west who's america first as well like He's invited Sneeko into the mix and everything too. Like so, like I don't understand how he how is he a white supremacist? It's about America first, and whoever's who who else is supporting that? I don't think they fucking care. It's about America first, and you know, prior to twenty twenty five, it needs to be reinstated. That has always that has been um, disavowed by um, Trump as well, and people are mad about that. Prior to twenty twenty five, was created by people who are who were America firsters. And that has always been like for Trump since the beginning and proposing really great policies that everyone, I mean, everyone that is on the right side was always about. And we went over that in the, in the video separately before that. You can go watch that. Um, and that's what we need. And this campaign has not been doing that. They, they have been sucking, sucking the life out of this campaign. We really thought that after the Trump papal, there was going to be like more momentum. The momentum has literally dwindled since the RNC. And it goes to show like having a great speech and pin America first, it goes to show that like you will be on top. And when you're not on top of it, you will lose fucking great supporters that voted for you prior. Many people out here saying like, oh no, those people have always been leftists. No, they have not. There's so many people, I even people that follow me has came out and said like, I'm not going to vote for Trump. I, I kid you not. And they have voted for Trump twice or three times. Whatever. Like, they wanted him to fucking be the president, but the way the campaign is going, they are not for it. I'm serious. Y'all think it's a game. Like, there has been there has to be radical change. If there's no radical change, he will lose. But seeing the progression of what's going on and having Corey be amongst the, the thing and like, you know, everyone's like saying like fucking get Susie Wiles out of there and get fucking um Chris like whatever the fuck his name is. <laughs> I literally can't even say his name either. I'm fucking retarded. It's really paying off and I really hope I'm hoping that something will change. This country needs to be rebuilt. I will be damned if I will allow Kamala Harris to be our next president. Like, I, at first, I wasn't going to vote. I'm sorry, Nick, but I'm voting. Like, I, I, I'm i not going to allow this to happen. Like, I'm, I'm not. It seems like the Trump is listening. It seems like that there has been, like, you know, news articles and stuff like that, which I love. I love AF posts on Twitter. Most of the time, they're very accurate. They're saying that Trump wants a nostalgic feeling like 2016. And you know what? We're going to give it to you if you fucking actually bring it bring up the fucking momentum fucking put your best foot forward stop these fucking lame ass rallies and actually like fucking put the girl in motion bitch put it in motion like we need the energy back we need it we need the radical energy we need it because like we need someone to be strong we need someone to be willing to fucking put off the left why like why is the media like not like really truly um, being as critical as they used to be. They were so critical of Biden. They were so critical of, like, all the things that he was doing all of a sudden after that debate. And they was, like, siding with Trump and be like, oh, he's like o Obama. Won't well, you, you, unity and everything, like, after his, like, papal that they have been wanting for, for years. They've been wanting you to be off, like, Trump. Like, what the fuck? Like, why are you still parenting to the fucking media? That's another thing. Stop parenting to the fucking media. The media doesn't like you. They don't like us. They don't like none of us, okay? They don't like me because I'm a, I, I am a, a, a right-winger. They don't like you for damn sure. They don't like Nick Fuentes because he's America first. They don't like anyone who's America first. They want Marxism, socialism, and, and, and communism in this country. And that's, what's, that's what has been happening. Wake the fuck up, Trump. It is time to wake up. Even people that I know that are the most Trump of the Trump. I mean, like, gay too. Gay as fuck. Love him to death. Love him to death.
But he's came convert like oh my god, I was shocked. Came to me and told me like he's scared. He he's basically scared. He's basically he's basically like concerned. Just like everyone else, Ken's Owens just came out and said too like the the energy is just off. There is something wrong, and there has to be radical change. And I'm so happy that Nick Fuentes is using his fucking like you know he he's pinning his head on the chopping block because they're they are going to they're going to come for him they they have called him a fed people are making fun of him calling him gay all the time i don't understand what what this is about and just doing the most just trying to tarnish his reputation which they have and you know just demonizing him when he is literally doing his best to pit America on the path of greatness and these people are just filled with so much hatred simply because he's not for Israel and just doing the most like it's crazy but like are you guys excited to see that like I really hope that change will come I truly do I really fucking hope that change will come if it doesn't come we will get another four years of communism we literally will or Marxism socialism and it's so funny how like you know everyone was like on the right was like saying like no like no taxes on tips and stuff like that and then now Kamala wants to do that Kamala Kamala doesn't have any fucking proposal or plan she's only like go wherever go wherever the wind goes that's what Kamala does but all of a sudden she's like she's for no tips like since, since when bitch you are the one who wanted the IRS to fucking come and like get people bitch Soon because they didn't pay their taxes on time. The yeas are 50, the nays are 50. The Senate being equally divided, the Vice President votes in the affirmative, and the bill, as amended, is passed. Or like, you know, like, bitch, you, you, you are the person who wants to raise taxes. Like, what are you talking about? I just, it's so funny how, like, the media, they be like, oh, my God, look, look, Donald Trump, like, he says he won't, no taxes, no taxes, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. But Kamala is like, oh, like, no taxes, like, <laughs> love it, Kamala, like, <sighs> I'm so over it, but seeing what the groupers are doing, I'm very excited. Are you guys excited? Let me know in the comments if you're excited. Wow. I can't. Now it's just for Trump to, like, you know, actually, how, how, like, literally get on fucking um, Bibi Netanyahu's back and, like, literally, like, come for him harder. Literally come for him harder. Not come for him, but come for him harder and tell him, like, fuck you. Fuck this country. Your country. And we're not going to fund you no more. We're not going to fund you. We're not going to go with this okie doke no more. We need peace. Do the fucking ceasefire deal and calm the fuck down. I see all these fucking people out here I'm um, talking about like oh my god like Hamas isn't gonna take the seats right here. Oh I wonder why. They were they was all four in the beginning. Yes they was. Do I need to pick up the receipts? See that Hamas had like Hamas has been wanting a ceasefire and that Netanyahu has um basically he doesn't want to go go forth with it. They've gave like a whole plan of what how they wanna release the hostages, all kinds of all, all kinds of stuff, okay? It literally says right here, Hamas have um, formally accepted a ceasefire deal that could end the war in Gaza. Israel, ha however, insists that its core demands were not met in the proposal uh, mediated by Egypt and Qatar. The Palestinian militant group says the ceasefire would unfold in three phases of six to seven weeks each, with Israeli hostages released in exchange for Palestinian um, prisoners and the gradual um, withdrawal of Israeli forces from all of the Gaza Strip and increased humanitarian aid. Israel has previously said it would not agree to either a full withdrawal of its forces or a permanent ceasefire. Dude, it literally takes two fucking seconds to read online, to go online, and to see, oh, we we see what's happening. They want a ceasefire. 
They're willing to give the hostages. They're willing to, to they, they just want humanitarian aid. They want you to get the fuck away from these people. Let them have electricity. Let them have the water. Let them have the humanitarian aid. What's so wrong with that? Why, why is that an issue? They was, they was wanting ceasefire. Yes, they was. But Bibi Netanyahu was not for it. He was not for the ceasefire um, uh, for, um, with Hamas. He was not. And all, now all of a sudden, since you killed over 400,000, uh, not 400,000, 40,000 40, people. That's still a lot. 40,000 people, women, children, men, and basically destroyed their whole entire cities and stuff like that. And, um, you know, actually creating more terrorists. <laughs> terrorists. Um... Now you want now you want to have a deal like what it doesn't make sense, and people out there would be like, oh my god, look, they don't want a deal, they don't want a deal. They they've been wanting a deal. They want they want the Israeli occupation off of Gaza. They want to be able to come. They want to be able to have their water on, food, stuff like that. The necessities they 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 was literally restricting that. That's all they wanted. They wanted to have full control of their country. What it's not even a fucking country, truly. It, it's it's a it's an open air it's an open air prison. That's what they've described it. An open air prison. They're like literally the the what like one of the number one like countries in the world that is like food deprived. That like you know they food scarce like food scarcity or something like that. It's in, it's actually very very sad, you guys. It's very very sad. And that's what they want. They they spread lies about Hamas. They spread lies about the Palestinians. All kind of stuff like that. I'm not even like pro Hamas, like y'all like to say it. But I'm like I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and like be like, oh yeah, like they've beheaded babies. I'm I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and be like, yeah, they've um you know sexual assault to these women. We've been seeing that the Israeli, like the IDF, they are the ones who's been detaining children. Um, sexual, sexually, sex, I can't even say the word, I'm, I can't say the R word, sexually abusing children, men and everything. It's been caught on tape. They don't care. They think that it's fine. They have been protesting to allow this to happen because they think that the Palestinians deserve it. But you want to call Hamas, like literally in the beginning, remember when that old lady was saying like how great the Hamas leaders, like not leaders, but like, you know, soldiers was and like they didn't lay a hair on them. And that that Jewish bitch, they literally got the the, um, the nose, the nose job done. She she came out and said like, you know, she was mad that like basically like the the Palestinian um, what soldiers didn't want to like touch her. <laughs> like, it's so crazy. Like, I just... And that's the reason why she cried because they didn't want to touch. Her. So crazy. <sighs> Y'all morals are so fucked up to me. It really is. But anyways, I'm happy to see that there is some radical change happening because of the Groypers and Nick Fuentes, and I think that Trump is going to turn it around in the nick of time. The DNC is still coming up, you guys. Like, I think that's going to be so crazy. The DNC is going to be so crazy. I think it's going to be all out like. Here's the thing too. I want before I go. They've they've been having this plan since the beginning of of President, um, you know Biden's elect like you know winning the election, still an election, <laughs> um, and they knew this was going to happen. They played their cards and they literally seen everything that Trump had on the stack. They've seen that like you know he who they who he picked as um, his vice president they've seen how he's performed at the rnc they've seen like from like you know that the coup that happened against trump with the papal they've seen everything and they they fucking stopped him in his tracks and now more than ever it's time to be more radical than ever and put america first truly because now since they've seen the rnc they've postponed that and moved it to i forgot is it this month i think it's this month I think that they're going to fucking show up and show out. I do. And it's a matter of time. It is. And it's up to Americans to actually wake up and up to Trump to be more radical and put America first. It truly is. But anyways, I thank you guys for listening to my fucking rambling. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I'm going to go. 
Um, it's it's crazy times we're, we're living in. But yeah, tomorrow I'm going to be doing like a vlog for you guys since you guys have not been getting vlogs lately. I'm so sorry. Um, but hope you guys like this video. Let me know in the comments what you thought. And yeah, bye.